I just want to make a couple of statements. For those of you who don't know me, I'm Noel Van Swall, president of the Sullivan Delaware Property Owners Association. We're representing a minimum of 5,000 acres in the town of Bethel that of people who want drilling. Um, the question was asked about uh, previous drilling in Sullivan County. Uh, the well that was uh, referred to as the Chandelier Hunting Club Number One that did hit the Marcellus Shale in the town of Calicoon. Uh, an extensive part of western Sullivan County and the river towns uh, it, it is in the fairway, in the sweet spot. Um, as you get uh, further towards Port Jervis, uh, as Mr. Shepstone pointed out, it's problematic. And in fact, in the town of Lumberland, nobody has ever been approached by an oil and gas company for a lease. Uh, people should realize that the state of New York, before this uh, uh, gas rush began, had the toughest regulations of oil and gas drilling in the United States. And there has been, for many, many years, extensive oil and gas drilling and production uh, in the Cuba area in western New York. And uh, it goes back to uh, a hand dug well in Fredonia, New York in 1823, I believe it was. So we have a long history of uh, gas production and oil production in New York. And people are not dying in droves, neither in New York nor in the 38 other states that produce oil and gas in this country. Uh, the new regulations that are being examined by the DEC and by the governor will not just be the toughest in the United States, they will be the toughest in the world. Uh, Bill Graby, who is here today, the, the co-founder of our coalition, and I have been interviewed over time by the Wall Street Journal, the New York Times, USA Today. We just did an interview a couple of weeks ago uh, with the Los Angeles Times. Uh, about a week or so ago, we were interviewed by German radio and television. If you go on the internet, there's a Huffington Post article uh, which quotes me from an interview uh, with uh, a delegation from South Africa. What's the point? The whole world knows what we have here. And everybody knows that America will have to become energy independent. What we have advocated is strong leases. That's why we formed the coalition, to make sure that there is a, another buffer between the property owner, uh, the state of New York, and the gas companies. In the final analysis, we can have our cake and eat it too. You can have all of your concerns resolved, and they will be, and in New York, Knowing the reputation of the DEC, if there were any health problems, if there were any spills, any problems like in uh, uh, Dimmick, uh, you know that New York State will shut those companies down and they will never drill another <coughs> well in New York. You can be assured with those kind of stakes that things will be done responsibly and well. I think that was a question. <laughs>